welcome to the Teaching Corner. Today, I wanted to talk to you about phonemic awareness. We've been doing our large umbrella of phonological awareness, and phonemic awareness is the last most difficult part of phonological awareness, and this is be being able to isolate the individual sounds in a word, but it has lots of different uh, parts to it uh, going from easy to hard. So the easiest part of phonemic awareness is just to say like what's the initial sound in cat and they would say k or the final sound in cat and they would say t or the vowel sound or the middle sound, medial sound in cat and they would say ah. Blending, you could ask the child what word am I saying? K at and they would say cat. Or we could do our segmenting where we tell the student the word and they are the ones that tap. So I say cat and the student says k at. We can also do adding where I say say at and the student says at. And then I say add k to the beginning and the student would say cat. Or we could do that in reverse, which is called deleting, where I say, say cat, and the student says cat, and then I say, say it without the k, and the student would say at. And then finally, we have substituting, and this is where we say a word, and then we ask the child to substitute part of the word. So easy, easy to do this in the initial or the final, like if I were to say cat and then change the k, to m and the child would say mat, um, but it's more difficult for them to do it like in a blend. So say I had the word stop and I told the child say stop and they say stop and then I say change the t to ul and the student would then have to say slop. So I'm going to do individual videos for each one of these, but I just wanted to give you a broad overview of what phonemic awareness was. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.